Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I wanted to take some time to just get you updated on what's going on in the garden. Um, if you remember when I was mulching and fertilizing, the plum trees were flowering, which kind of gave me the impression that this is going to be the first year that they were going to fruit. So today, when I got home and um, I started to check out the trees, guess what I found? A plum! A tiny little plum. So, so far that's the first one I found, but I am hoping that there will be more somewhere. Um, the thing about my experience so far with fruit trees, when they start fruiting, don't expect a whole lot of a, a, a lot of crops in the beginning, just as they're starting out. Even if the tree starts to show lots of fruits, it's very possible that in its first few years of fruiting that it may drop the fruit. It, only because, you know, it's still, it's just getting started and it's kind of practicing and getting you know, used to fruiting, and oh, look, there we go. These little tiny things right there. Look at that. There's the plums too. So, um, yeah. So don't don't be too discouraged about it in the first few years when it starts to fruit that you're not going to get a ton of fruit. Um, my pear trees, however, I don't see anything yet. Um, they did start fruiting last year, and so far I haven't noticed anything, but it, it very well could be a little too early. Maybe I'm just being a little overly anxious that, you know, I expect to see something by now. But it's May. Today is May 12th. Um, oh, here's another exciting thing. This is my Granny Smith. My Granny Smith did flower, and it looks like it is going to uh, give us some really nice apples this year. But... Here's another thing. These are my canna lilies. And um, if you saw my canna lily video, I had stated that they can take up to a month to pop up. And actually, um, yeah, it's getting to about a month right now. Um, I thought maybe they're, they might be maybe a week early, but yeah, it's, it's approximately a month before you start to see them shoot up. So I'm excited about that too. That's awesome. Look at that right there. That's a canna lily. So the weather um, has kind of been very New England-ish. It's this past weekend it was very cool. Um, but, you know, uh, after that, it just warmed up into the 80s. It's, I mean, that's New England weather for you. So um, another exciting thing I wanted to share with you. Now, I bought these, these, um, this is bamboo and these two right here these two little shoots that is bamboo and at the end of my video I'll give you a description of what kind of bamboo it is um, right now the name just slipped my mind so I can't, so I'm it's not coming up but um, these this particular bamboo is supposed to tolerate minus 15 degrees so it will stay green. It's an evergreen type of bamboo. And um, I didn't put it on the ground because it is a runner. So I don't want to have issues with it once it starts to shoot up. But this is a really good pot to have it in. I may expand into a bigger pot, something a little nicer. But just to get it started, I bought these on eBay. And the person who was selling them, they were just selling me just the shoots. And on their website, they explained that allow up to eight weeks before you actually see the bamboo shoot come up um, and I'll tell you it's only been a month so that's a really good sign that I got some good shoots from this person so the same person that I got these from I ended up buying some extras just because I wanna I'm excited about it I love bamboo I think bamboo is very um, soothing I, I love to see it and swing you know when the wind blows and I just think it's very very therape therapeutic to have bamboo in your garden especially uh, this particular one is supposed to shoot up to 20 to 30 feet not that I'm gonna, gonna allow it 
to grow that tall, but um, I'm very excited about it. It's something I wanted to share with you guys today because I just wasn't sure if this was going to work. You know, it's kind of a hit and miss sometimes when you're trying to buy things from other people and um, try to grow it yourself or try to get it to come up um, in your yard. But I'm very excited about the bamboo. Hey, YouTubers, I also wanted, in addition to updating you on the plum and the, uh, the bamboo, I wanted to also share how my currants are doing. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. So we're going to get some currants this year. I actually planted this last year. And um, it was fruiting last year. I ended up buying a fertilizer uh, that was more chemical than natural. So when I ended up putting the fertilizer down, all of the berries dropped. So from now on, I only use natural fertilizers. Uh, I only use the uh, fishbone meal. Um, I don't use any animal fertilizers in my garden. I just use strictly uh, fishbone. And this year, I'm going to uh, also use seaweed liquid so that I can spray that on my, uh, my trees and everything else in the yard. Um, this is a gooseberry bush. And I will tell you that I've ha I have had the hardest time with this gooseberry bush. Um, I did purchase it on eBay. Um, it was also fruiting one time when it, when it was first planted. We had a frost and all of the berries dropped. Um, I read up on it and that's actually very typical for gooseberry bushes. Um, if there's a uh, you know frost or late frost that it's possible for the berries to be lost. But um, after that, it just had a very hard time fruiting again. Uh, the year after that, I moved it. I thought maybe it was getting way too much sun. So I moved it to a partially shaded area and it wasn't doing well there. Then I moved it into a pot and it wasn't doing well there either. I mean, it was, it was leafing, but no fruit. So finally, I took it out of the pot and put it in this location. And I thought, well, you know, with the cherry tree here, cherry trees behind me actually um, maybe this could be a good spot for it lo and behold it's actually fruiting again this year but um, for those of you who own any gooseberries um, if you have any comments that you can share with me any experiences um, if you've had this hard of a time with your gooseberry you know let me know let me know also if there's anything that you do to your gooseberry to get get it to uh, produce more fruit but I think that with the fishbone meal um, once I clean this area up and uh, fertilize it and mulch it I think um, it will do a lot better um, I'm glad that it's actually starting to fruit after the third year um, and that you know it's it looks like it's coming back a little stronger um, I also have my blueberry bush here which is doing so well um, I also uh, fertilized this and also put some of that acidic fertilizer. I used the natural stuff too and um, I can show that to you later or I'll post it at the end of my video which kind of fertilizer I use because there are some that are really not healthy for the ground. Um, there are, you know, it's good to use natural stuff because, you know, you don't want to end up um, compromising your soil just so that you can get a good crop. I mean, when you're at home, when you're doing a home garden, um, you want quality, not necessarily quantity, like some of these uh, large production places. Uh, so that's, um, that's all for today. I'm very excited about it and seeing some results with my garden. Today's May 12th, and it's been a month since uh, my first original video. And I uh, just wanted to update you on what's going on. All right, thanks for watching.